traditional combos of pizza and subs. Another way 9X makes your life simpler. 69 a month. That's your true choice. AT&T. stickers to shirts to anything within your wildest dream not really but you can 3d print too that's pretty cool here we have our shirt press this is where we create shirts for the school as you can see we have here a Kennedy football cutout and my demonstrator will demonstrate to you how we create such t-shirt Place screen down, and you would hypothetically pour ink onto the machine, as he is demonstrating. After the ink is gently poured onto the machine, you grab this spreader to spread the ink and push it through the screen. That will push it down onto the shirt and create an amazing design, the best, the coolest. And all you need to create this design is the wonderful computer application AutoCAD, which is provided to you by the school in our lovely tech design class. And a quick segment about vinyl. This is what we used to make stickers out of, such as this lovely masterpiece right here. And don't forget that we actually built this in Woodshop class for the vinyl. It's amazing. This is our state-of-the-art 3D printer. Currently being printed is a set of antlers. Don't know why, but it's still pretty cool. Here are some things made with the 3D printer. We have an Android emoji. We have um, more gears, a fish, fish bone, more fish bones, and an Intel logo. You can make anything you want. This is AutoCAD. AutoCAD is the essential tool to this class. You can make everything with it. Stickers, 3D printable objects, shirts. See? Hussein right here, he's making a house. Pretty cool house too. See Hattie here? He made a chicken and 3D printed that chicken. That's pretty awesome. Hello boys and girls, we are here in our media arts classroom with our state-of-the-art standing desk with our state-of-the-art person, Quincy. Quincy, what do you think about the desk? It's great for resting my arms on it. You heard it here, folks. It's good for resting your arms. Let's go to the construction room where this lovely desk was made. I'm Jim Bunny, and this is Dr. Quincy. Welcome to the wood shop. Let's talk about race cars. Race cars, they're pretty cool. Tiny race cars made out of wood, not as cool, but still pretty cool. You see this magical device right here? It's called a CO2 canister. So, what you do? You hook that little hook up to a string, put it down, poke a hole in it, and it goes really fast. It's loud. And then they break. It's cool. If you lose, you lose, you win, you win. If you're not first, you're last. This is the late line bench. You see, everybody used to sit on this bench when they're in the late line or wait to receive a detention. But one day, my aunt came to the school. She sat on it, and it broke. It broke. Real bad, right, Quincy? Split down the middle. She just sat on it and went. <laughs> so we had to send this thing to the, do the wood doctor, Mr. Ennis. The wood doctor sat down, put her back together, 
And now she's ready for late line service again. Ready. Sam Root is ready. These are the tool cabinets where we keep the tool. This one got screwdrivers, pliers, saws. This, that, here, there, that one. Go watch this one. Plugs, all of this. Um, yeah. That's what's up. We got more in there. In there. You see, you see what is in there? Tape measures, uh, things that shouldn't be in there. That's called combination square. Helps you get the proper right angle when you're measuring a piece of wood. Watch. Put it like that. You go. Or like that. It's like magic. The key, most important factor to being in the wood shop is health and safety. Safety. The first main thing before you enter the wood shop is these bad boys, as Dr. Quincy has on. Safety glasses have the word safety in them. Therefore, it means you need it. The next most important thing to remember is to have pants on. You see, I don't have pants on, but Quincy does. Eulery is bad. bad. Very. Why is it bad? Why do you have these rings on? Because why? What will happen to your finger if you have these rings on? Gets caught on a saw. <laughs> comes off like just like my mustache. You got the wrist three slits on. Comes off just like the mustache. Just look at it. Don't worry about it. I don't have a mustache. It doesn't. Sorry. We're talking about hair. We're talking about hair now. Hair, hair. back. The mustache over your head. It's too long. It's caught in a saw. Just like the mustache. Everything's don't let your appendages be like a mustache. Don't. Don't. Safety first, boys and girls. Safety first. Do you know what this tool is, sir? The bandsaw. Bandsaw is a crucial tool to making anything you make in the making shop. It's for complications. Don't break it. You broke two already. Yeah, you just can't break it. All you do is go straight. And if you want to make a curve, you make a relief cut. So a relief cut is a cut that relieves it. You go pew, 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 in little quarter inch spaces, or even eighth of an inch spaces. And after you do all the pewing, <laughs> you go around your designated line like such. Make sure your fingers are always away. So say you got a small chunk like that, your fingers too close to the blade. You can't chop your finger off, dummy. Off. Don't chop your finger off. I'm not. Use this thing that looks kind of like a snake. It's called a push stick. And you know what you do with it? You push it with the stick. And you just push it right through. Quincy, would you like to demonstrate how to push through with the push stick? One person at a time, Sam, please move. You must stay clear of all areas. Make sure all jewelry is removed, such as these rings, these bracelets, those bracelets that Quincy does not have on, and his chain. No. Doesn't have it on. Slow but steady. Right through. <laughs> Always go straight through. And then use push stick, push away. Any material you don't need no more. That's the miter saw. Miter saw, most useful tool in the wood shop. Make you make accurate cuts. Make you do the accurate cuts. Measure the cut. Demonstration here, Dr. Quincy. The meanest, the mightiest. The scariest tool in the wood shop, the miter saw. Get your piece of wood, push it in, and do not touch the metal. Keep your hand on the wood and the clamps will do the work. You make your mark where you want to cut. The miter saw will do the work. Cut it. Good job. Down and swoop. Down, swoop. Boys and girls, me and Dr. Quincy here going to demonstrate to you without demonstrating to demonstrate how to use the planer. The planer is a key tool for making wood flat. So say you got a piece of wood like that right there. Say it's not perfectly flat. You know what you do with it? You put it there, slide it in a wee bit, bring it up until it touches, just before it touches, and then turn on and it'll go and go out to the other end 
as you can see, and it'll make this board flat. I shouldn't have took this board off. 